there, I'm Ellen, and in this innovative crunch workout, we combine the best calorie burning power yoga and the best core conditioning power Pilates for an amazing total body blast. This is one of our most popular classes, and I guarantee you're gonna see amazing results. Not only will we be burning calories, we'll also be lengthening, strengthening, and defining your entire body, and especially your core. My cues are easy to follow, so don't worry if you're new to yoga or Pilates. And if you're an old pro, you're gonna love how we've put these movements together. So, bare feet really does work best, and you'll need a mat. So let's get ready and get hardcore. Let's bring ourselves to the very center of our mat. Plant your feet parallel and make sure they're about hip bone distance apart, really secure on that floor. Let's begin with some strong breathing. So inhale your arms up and exhale your arms down. Place your hands to your lower back, elbows squeeze towards each other and we lift our heart up. Then release and do that again, nice and strong. So the breath is super important. We wanna keep breathing strong throughout this whole workout. Elbows together, lift your heart up, and then release it down. Good, let's bend the knees now this time. Take it down, reach it up, now elbows to behind. Squeeze those elbows together, lift your heart up. Strengthen and lengthen, good, and release. Once again, bend those knees down. Bring the hands to the lower back. Squeeze those elbows together, lifting up, breathing big, and release those arms down. Great, now let's just take it down and up, nice and strong. It's down and up. Heating the body, warming up those legs, getting energy flowing. That's what it's about. Take it down, take it up, four more. Hips back, keep that back nice and strong. Your core is already super engaged. Nice, now hold it up and bring your arms halfway down and walk your feet to about four feet apart. Turn your right toes out and your left toes are parallel to that side of the mat. Heart is lifted, rib cage is up. Let's take it to warrior pulse. It's pulse, beautiful. Now right here, make sure your knees are tracking in line with your toe and make sure you're, you're keeping that nice tall lifted posture. Now hold it down there. Place your form on your thigh and reach it up. Good, this is the side angle posture. Our abdominals are pulling in. We lengthen and strengthen the torso at the same time here. Looks good, everybody. Take it to that reverse. So sliding your left arm down, reaching up. Feel the energy, lifting strong. Here's four more. Good. Right arm goes down, left arm follows. Come back to the center, abdominals in, and take it to a nice power breath up and bring it halfway down. Good, now turn your left toes out. Let's do the warrior pulse. It's eight. So let's do that whole setup on side two. Again, feel that nice posture, shoulders over hips, strong core, you're looking great. And now hold it down there, side angle. So forearm rests on the thigh, reach it up strong. Feel that length, you're really trying to touch the ceiling here. Now keep that back leg straight and reverse. So the right leg is straight, the right arm is straight, and we reach up, up, up to the sky, keeping the left knee bent. Here's four more counts. Windmill your arms to the left now. So left arm down, right arm follows, come to the center, pull that abdominal in, and power breath up. It's inhale up, hold it halfway. Now let's turn the right toe out and let's do it that warrior pulse. Just four of them, and three. Two, hold it here, side angle and stretch. Good, so we're gonna get into the flow of this movement here. A nice rhythm, take it to that reverse. Stretch it up, big and tall. It's all about our crunch hardcores here. Windmill it to the right, bring your arms center. Squeeze that belly in, big inhale in. Halfway, turn that left toe out and go. It's four, three, two, hold it here, side angle and stretch. Long and tall and pulled in. So strong, take it back to the reverse, all the way up. Four counts, and three. Windmill those arms down to the left, come back to 
the center. Big inhale in. Beautiful. Turn the right toes out. And again, we take it. Here's four, three, two. Hold it here. Side angle and stretch. Good. Feeling invigorated. Take it to the reverse all the way up. Windmill those arms to the right. Bring that body center. Power breath here. Halfway down with those arms and go. It's warrior pulse. Three, two, hold it here. Side angle and stretch. Good, so feel the flow, feel the groove. You're looking great. Take it to that reverse. Windmill those arms down. Come center, power breath in. One more time through, right toes out and it's pulse. Three, two, hold it here, side angle and stretch. Reverse it all the way up. Make it the best, make it the strongest. You're ambitious today, we're energizing your body. Windmill those arms down, bring your body center. Big inhale in here, halfway down, turn those left toes last set. Come on, here's four and three. Two, hold it here and side angle reach. Crisp and strong, reverse that warrior. Windmill to the left, bring that body center. Take a nice big inhale here. Now let's power breathe down and up, here we go. It's bend and reach. Like you're tracing the full moon with those arms. Be strong, reach it out, feel your abdominal, pull in. Length and tall, beautiful. Four, and lift. Three, Woo, keep breathing. Last one, good job guys. Now hands on your thighs, flat back down. It's flat, flat, and now round it up. Pull that belly in, good. Think about stretching your spine long, and now squeezing your belly in. Two more times, long straight back, squeeze your belly in, and round that spine. One more time, take it down, take it all the way up. Great energy, you guys. Now from here on out, keep your eye on Marnie. She'll be modifying a lot of the exercises today. So if you're new to the program or you wanna take a little less challenging route, she's the one to keep your eye on. So we begin this series with the triangle posture. I want you to turn your right toes out, your left toe is parallel, and you have two straight, strong legs. And you've got, again, that strong, hardcore. Take your arms out, your shoulders are low, and just tilt your body into the triangle right here. So drop down and just get used to this posture. We're gonna return to it more. Feel the length up through your hand and just feel the lift out from your body. Beautiful, now take it up and lunge into that warrior again. Beautiful, nice crisp, precise motion. Twist over to the right, reach your arms up, hold it here, reaching and lengthening. Beautiful, now arms down, twist center and straighten it out. Good, so we're gonna do that a few more times, a little bit more up tempo and a lot of flow. So two straight legs, here we go, triangle for four and three. Reach and lift, up and lunge for four, good, shoulders are low. Now crisp and strong, pull in that core, twist to the right. It's twist to, reach up to, hold it here. Good, now take those arms down, twist back to the center, straighten that leg. Good, take it to the triangle, drop it down, reaching your arms up. Up and lunge it, pressing it down, crisp, strong motion, looking good. Twist it to the right, it's twist to, reach to, really go for it, you guys. Take those arms down now and pure twist back and straighten that knee. One last time, triangle. Two straight legs, reaching up. Up and lunge. Woo, keep breathing, looking good, take it to the side. So we twist to, reach to, hold it here, lengthening tall, and now drop the arms down, come back to the center, and straighten it out. Now my favorite, the zigzag. Slowly reach to the right, now slowly reach to the floor to the right. You got it. This is such a great one for the whole core. Every muscle fiber gets stronger here. So here we go, faster, work it. It's up, up, down, down. Scoop that belly, everything's pulling in. Press it in. Come on, four more. It's reach. Lower. Woo, last two. 
you right here. Reach it up, take it down. Beautiful. Now a big power, strong breath. Here we go. Inhale up and hold those arms halfway. Turn your left toes out parallel with your right foot. Two straight legs. Let's go into the triangle to the left. So just tilt your body and reach up. Your hands placed on the middle of your shin and you're lengthening through the core. Abdominal is always strong. Great, now up and lunge and hold it here. Neck is long, we've got that nice knee bend. Twist open to the side, reach your arms up, hold it here, stretching tall. Good, now drop the arms and purely twist center, straighten the knees up. Good, let's do that up tempo. Remember, the rib cage is lifted, the core is pulled in. Here we go, triangle, take it down for four, three, two, up and lunge. Good. You got it. A nice torso twist to the left, twist it to, arms stretch up to the sky. Good. And now drop your arms down, twist back center, straighten that knee. Looks great. Do it again. Triangle posture. Four, three, two, up and lunge. You got it. Crisp, strong motion and twist to the side. Abdominals in. Twist to, reach to, hold it here, lengthening out. Beautiful. Take those arms back down. Another twist and straighten. We've got one more time and we're there. Here we go. Triangle. It's four, three, two, up and lunge it. Dip that knee down. Shoulders are right on top of the hips. Good. Now a pure twist to the side. Arms up, reaching, extending. Good, take those arms down, twist back to the center, straighten it up. Now again, my favorite, the zigzag. Reach it up to the left slowly. Take it down slowly, scoop that belly. Good, we want those nice, strong, hard cores. Reach and reach. Now the same thing faster. Here we go. We take it up, up, down, down. Keep breathing, go for it. Touch the sky, scoop down to the floor. One more, go for it. Reach, reach, and lower. Invigorating that body. Last two, reach, and lower. Last one, beautiful. Big inhale, power breath. All the way up, open those arms halfway. Good, now turn your right toes out and triangle to the right once again. Reaching the arms up. Now we're gonna transition here. Bending your knee, bring your left hand down, and step back into the plank with me or bring it to your knees with Marnie. Abdominals are in. Now knee cross crunch. Slowly take your right knee across and left knee. Good, now eight up tempo. I know these are tough. Here we go. It's eight, you can do it. Seven, six, just four more. Crunch that belly. Three more, two. Beautiful, now sit back in child's pose or press it up to down dog. Just a nice stretch here. Breathing calmly. And now let's all join Marnie in child's pose. Bring it all the way back. And take a nice breather. Good, so we're gonna begin this series with the willow. It's an awesome, awesome core strengthener. So be sure to keep your abdominal pulled in and keep the movement under control. Here we go, elbows with the ears, lift up. Up, now open back. Reach up to the sky and gently fold forward. Good, again, lift up, open out, reach it up tall and fold it back down. Good, now control, feel the breath, feel the motion fluid, good. One more time, it's up and open, reach up and down. Good, now keep your forearms on the mat, walk your feet out into the dolphin float. Marnie's gonna be modifying this by having her knees bent, which is always an option for you. This is a really challenging ab exercise because gravity's working against you. You've gotta pull your abs in and up all on your own. So feel that sense of center. Feel those hips stay in line with your spine. You're looking good. Hold it for three more counts. Good, drop it back into child's pose. Let's take Willow again. Here we go, take it up. It's up and open, reaching up dropping down. Now the beauty of this is that we're strengthening and stretching at the same time. And we've got beautiful range of motion. So here we go. Lift, we're gonna look great. Those torsos are gonna be buff. One more time, here we go. Reach it up, it's lift, open back, reach it tall, good. And walk it out to dolphin. Forearms down, walk your feet back, squeeze 
Squeeze your belly in and up, holding the dolphin float, hovering over the floor for three more counts. And two. Nice. Bend it into child's pose. Here we go again. Willow. Take it up and open. Reach up, fold forward. Try to keep the heels and the hips together. It's okay if your hips lift up a little bit, but over time you're going to find them staying a little bit closer because you've got that much more strength in your core. Lift. Awesome. Do it one more time. Lift it up. Open out. Reach it up and drop it down to your forearms. Walk it back out to the dolphin. Pull your abdominals in and squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. We're getting so much done at once with this. Multitasking at its best. Good, drop the knees, child's pose. One more round, here we go. It's up and open. Reach up and down. Lift it up, open out, reach up. Looking good, two more times. Lift. Keep breathing. Last one. Lift up. Open. Nice, everybody. Dolphin flow. Walk those feet back. Form that dolphin so you're hovering off the floor. Now, in this last set, this is where we might get a little tired, so bend your knees if you need to. You got it. Great. Now, bring yourself to your hands and knees into a tabletop spine. Good, so we're working hard. You hang in there, keep your belly strong. Let's stretch it out, dropping the tailbone, dropping the head into the cat stretch. Here we go, exhale and round down. Nice stretch for the spine, and then come to tabletop, flat back. Good, do it again, take it all the way up, contract and round, and come to flat back tabletop. Nice, now, opposite arm, opposite leg. This is a very challenging exercise, but it's so worth it, because the benefits are amazing. Marty's gonna modify this by keeping both hands flat on the floor, so that's your choice. If you can, reach your right arm out, your left leg long, hold it there for a moment, feel how your core is pulling in and up. Your legs are straight, your arm is reaching, point those toes, find your sense of balance, and here we go, take it up and down. Here we go, it's up, down, stretch. Good, now focus and concentrate on that sense of center, there's a lot of a balance challenge here, so do your best. Good, take it out to the side. Woo, keep breathing. Good, challenging balance, working the glutes, lengthening the legs. We're looking long and tall and lean and pulled in. Beautiful. Good, now alternate, one front, one side. Here we go, it's front and side. It's up, down, reach. Good, last four. And three, and two, bravo. Bring it to all fours and cat stretch up. Release that back for a second and now flat back. And again, round it up, cat stretch, tailbone tucks under, good, and flat back. Great, now if you felt yourself a little wobbly on that side one, make sure your weight's more on the inner side of your base knee. It'll help you stay more stable. Now the same thing, but reach your right leg out, your left arm out, belly's in, here we go. We lift up and down, take it up, down. Nice, abdominals are in, reaching and extending. We're going up, we're squeezing our whole back side. Amazing. Take it out to the side, you guys, to the angle, just a little bit. A little bit goes a long way here. Feel that whole charge up the back of your body. Woo. Here's four, three, point the toe, and now alternate it. Here we go, reaching it front and side. Up, down, up, down. Just four more, three more, two, and one, great job, nice job. Sit back in child's pose, take a little break. You've earned it, relax and breathe calmly. So now bring yourself out onto the floor, resting comfortably on your belly. Place your hands underneath your shoulders and make sure they feel even and balanced with your palms flat to the earth. They're gonna stay here for the full series. Now to begin, press your hips into the ground, lift your legs up, point your toes, and turn your toes out. Now this is called the leg beat. We're gonna really squeeze those heels towards each other. I want you to feel the lift up and out. Here we go, go, it's 16. Press, squeeze, squeeze. 
Beautiful. This is a great one for those glutes. Here's eight, seven, six, five. Good. Now as the legs go down, lift your upper body. Here we go. It's inhale and exhale. Now this is a beautiful back extension. It works the upper back, but I want you to really feel how it lifts the upper body and it really lets the breath enter. Good, now push yourself up like a push up on your knees. Sit back on your heels, lengthen out and drop down. Good, do that again. This whole thing is called Little Piece of Heaven and it's because the spine should stay unbroken in one piece. So keep your belly pushing in and up, try not to round or arch your back. Lift, good. One more time, push up. Hinge back, lengthen out and control yourself on the way down, beautiful. Stay here, now press those hips again into the ground and lift your legs up. Point your toes, turn them out and here we go. For 16, it's press, press, reach, reach. Good, feeling those glutes, do one more set. Reach it out, press, press, reach. Good, keep breathing, nice. Now legs go down, upper body lifts, up and lower. Inhale, exhale, lift and lower. One more time. Beautiful, little piece of heaven. Use those triceps, push it up, hinge it back, lengthen long, drop it down. So the beauty of this exercise is that we're working everything, the tricep and the whole entire core, and then we're stretching the lower back so it feels good. So keep that nice controlled, precise movement and let it flow with your breath. Good, one more. Push up, hinge back, lift up and control on the way down. Good, let's do that again. Hips into the earth, legs lengthen up, toes turn out. Ready, here we go. And 16, press, press, squeeze. Feel the energy out your toes, really reach it. Here's eight more, seven, six, five, Beautiful, now drop the legs, lift your upper body. Inhale, exhale, lift, lower. Two more. One more. Good, let's push up to the little piece of heaven. We push, hinge back, lengthen out, control on the way down. Good, push up, hinge back, lengthen out, and down. Good, so you should definitely be feeling your triceps by now. The control has made you really work it. One more time, push it up, hinge it back, lengthen out and lower down. Great, one more round, press those hips in, lengthen the legs up, point the toes, turn the toes out. Here we go, the best one yet. It's 16, 15, reach and extend. You can do it, we are almost there. Eight more, right here, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Beautiful, back extension. We lift and lower. Try not to use your arms at all. And lower. Inhale, exhale. Let that breath help you. Now little piece of heaven, we push up, hinge back, lengthen out and control on the way down. Good. So we're getting the tricep on the way up and the way down. It's very efficient. We're getting a lot done in this motion. Every single moment, we're getting something done. Press it back. Lengthen out, lower down. Last one. Push up, hinge back, lengthen out, and lower down, and rest. Great. Now bring your hands underneath your chin and rest your chin on those hands. You want your neck to be loose and relaxed. Extend your right leg up, hold it there for a moment, and point your toe. The Pilates leg circles are small and concise, so circle to the right. It's up and around, up and around. Knee stay straight, toe stays pointed, and extend. Feel like you're pulling your leg out from the hip, really reaching. Good, now go the other direction. It's around. Good. Nice relaxed neck. Feel those glutes, feel the hamstrings, feel the leg getting longer. Three more. Two, now right into the other side. Lift and go towards the front. It's up and around. Up and reach. Point the toes, reach it, four more. It's around. Up and around. Lift and 
And the other direction, go, circle, and reach, like you're tracing a beautiful, petite circle. Four more, it's four, and three, and two, reach it out, and one, great. Now, curl your toes under. We've been pointing our feet a lot, so it should feel good to curl them under. Now, push yourself all the way up, and sit back in child's pose with your toes under. It's an awesome stretch for your feet. And just relax here. You deserve this nice little break. Great job. Keep staying strong. Let's roll it all the way up and swing the feet all the way over to the right and come to a nice side-lying position. Rest your head in your hand and straighten both legs. Hips are stacked. Now to begin, take your top hand and place it in front of you. This is gonna be a really important movement. Holding it here is gonna help your balance a lot. And we will have the option of taking it away later. Now lift both legs up, point your toes, Lift the top leg slightly, strong through the core. Here we go, pressing the top leg down every time. It's pressing eight and seven, good. So you've got two strong legs. Your core is doing a lot of this work. So keep it super strong and pulling in. Good, now the bottom leg comes up. It's up and down, beautiful. Two really strong, straight legs. Good, now here's your option. Take away that top hand and just do the top leg. Here we go, it's eight. Good, so that whole series again without the extra support of your arm. So your core is working a lot harder. Beautiful, awesome. And now the bottom leg up and down. Go, eight, seven, six. Keep the abdominals strong, you're looking good. Here's four. Good, now drop both legs and take it to a side passe. So we bend, extend, Flex the foot and now draw it to the front. Good, bend, extend, flex to the back, now faster. Take it, up, up and down, good. Now be dramatic, make it big, feel the stretch on the way down and feel the squeeze in the inner thigh. Nice, we've got four more. Lift and press, lift, press. Last two, squeeze and strong. Last one, great. Now hold it there, beautiful. Now bend your bottom knee and prop yourself up. Your left hand is right underneath your shoulder and abdominal strong. Marnie's gonna modify this by keeping her hips on the floor. Extend your top leg long. The first one is slow, it's the side bend twist. The core has to be strong and the shoulder can't move around too much. So let's try it slowly. We inhale, take it all the way up. Exhale, fold and empty out those lungs. Inhale, come back to the center, and now drop it all the way down. Beautiful, just four of them faster. Here we go, reach it up. Exhale, forward, reach, drop it down. Good, really extend, make it strong. Two more. It's lift and twist, lift. One more, looks great, lift and twist and lift and drop it down. Great job. Come around to the center, sit on the front edge of your mat, and place your forearms down on the mat behind you. Make sure your back doesn't sink. Keep the knees up and glue the knees together. We're gonna begin the knee drop progression. So drop it to the right, drop it to the left. Good, now keep your torso purely center. We're gonna progress this to another level. So here we go, extend your left leg to the right. Beautiful, right leg extends to the left. Stretch, great. So again, the longer you make that leg, the harder you're working. Nice, now Marnie is gonna stay at this level. We have one more level to go to, but feel free to stay with Marnie here. This is a really challenging exercise. Good, so here we go, two straight legs now. So it's reach up, up and bend. Stretch it long, you got it, extend and stretch, extend. Awesome, so your core is working so hard right now and it's stretching and strengthening and pulling in. Lift and lower, last one. Great everybody, great. So cross your ankles and sit your body forward and just release gently. A nice easy release for the lower back. Good, so walk yourself up and let's go on to side two. So bring your legs to your left. Prop your head in your hand Stack your hips, top hands in front, lift both legs, feel that strong core, and now the top leg, up and down. Here we go. It's eight, and squeeze, 
press. Beautiful. So feel your sense of center. Feel that balance. Stretch those legs long. Bottom leg up. It. Squeeze. And press. Lift. Keep breathing. Now here's our option. Take away that top hand. Work that balance and the top leg. Here we go for eight, seven, six. Keep breathing. You got it. You're doing so great. Bottom leg, up and down every time. It's up, down, up, down, squeeze. Just four more, keep breathing it. Lift and lift, great. Now right into the side passe, slowly. So we take the left knee in and up. Flex the foot and slide it to the front. Push it down, beautiful. Lift, be dramatic. Really work that motion, take it faster. It's up, up and down. Lift and lower, stretching through the hip. Press that heel to the floor. Keep breathing, four more. Our legs are super long and stretch it. Three more and stretch. Two, press, last one. Beautiful, and hold it, great. All right, bend your bottom knee, press yourself up. We're gonna do that twist, side bend. So take your right hand down, right underneath your shoulder, and let's do one slowly. So here we go, take it up, lifting up, exhale, and folding, hips stay square, come all the way back up, and then drop it all the way back down. Now up tempo, just four, here we go. It's reach and fold, reach and open. So what's not moving, which is those hips, those need to stay still, and that's the challenge here. You're doing great, keep it going. We only have one more to go. Reach it up, it's reach and full, and reach and drop. Great. All right, turn yourself back to the center. Let's go to that knee drop progression again. So down on your forearms, knees come in, glue those knees tightly, no sinking in your back. Let's drop it to the left. It's left and center, right and center, good. Now progression all the way in, extend that top leg long right here. It's reach and squeeze. So really try to extend as far as you can. You'll get a nice length through the outer thigh, stretching through the oblique. Four more right here. It's four and center, three and center, two. Great, so here we go. Both legs straight or stay with Marty, your call. It's up, up, bend and reach. Up, up, bend and reach. Lift and lower, lift, lower, great. Nice, just three more. Stretch it tall, tap it wide. Last one, reach and hold it here. Nice job, cross those ankles, come all the way up and just stretch your body forward for a gentle release in your back. You did great, that was a very tough series. Take a nice, calm breath here. So pull that abdominal in and walk your body up nice and tall. Good, bring your legs to the right. Plant them parallel. Make sure your knees stay parallel as well. Grab onto your hamstrings and let's begin with a nice tall straight back. Shoulders are down. We want to round the back in this series without shrugging the shoulders. So that's our focus. So here we go. Take it down nice and calm. One, two, three. Now take it up and return to that tall back. Beautiful. So the abs are working a lot harder than you look like here. Squeeze it up. And again, roll it down. It's down, two, Three, take it up. Good, now Marnie's gonna stay with this and the rest of us are gonna progress to a full teaser. So release your arms or stay with Marnie. We go down, reach up, exhale, squeeze in and reach up. Good, this is where you really wanna make sure your knees don't flare out. Crunch that abdominal, beautiful. So roll down and reach. So right now, we're pulling in our abdominals, we're stretching and strengthening our whole spine, and then we're reaching tall at the top. So much going on, it's great. Reach, lift. Good, nice and calm, nice and controlled. Roll down, and reach. Last one, you're doing great. Take it down, reach it up. 
Good, now stay here at the top and just roll halfway down. Now pull the elbows together. Squeeze, yeah. So you're feeling that upper back squeeze. It's a great one for getting the shoulders to pull back, having a nice strong upper back and opening that chest. And squeeze, beautiful. Here's four more, pull strong. Feel like you're holding a crisp dollar bill right between your shoulder blades. Last two, pull, last one. Nice, grab onto those hamstrings and roll it back down flat on your back and bring those knees into the chest. Nice everybody, take a moment to wiggle your toes and just shake your head side to side, releasing any tension in the neck. We're gonna begin here with a single leg stretch. So now lift your head and shoulders up, crunch your abdominals, keep your right knee in, extend your left leg out, point your toes, left hand on top, make it crisp and strong, crunch those abdominals, here we go. It's 16, reach, press, extend. Good, abdominals are engaged, here's eight more. Six, four, three, two, and rest, nice. Shake again, side to side, and wiggle those toes. Now take your hands behind your head and drop your knees to the right. Beautiful, reach your left arm up, and let's climb that invisible rope. Slowly, we pull and release. Good, so as your torso lifts, your elbow pulls in. Good, really squeeze that waistline, tighten that oblique, and now take it up tempo for eight, nice and strong. It's eight, reach, seven. Keep breathing, keep squeezing. Just four more, three more, and one, and rest. Good, both hands back behind the head. Bring the knees up and over to the left. Good, now reach your right arm up and prepare for that climbing the rope. Really tighten that abdominal. Here we go, we crunch. It's four, release, take it slow, squeeze, release. Keep breathing. Make it the best you can, and now take it up tempo. Here we go, it's eight, squeeze, seven. You got it. Quality over quantity here, every rep counts. Here's four, three, two, and rest. Beautiful, drop your hands back behind the head, bring your knees back to center. Now lengthen your legs straight up. We're gonna finish off our ab exercises here with the ballerina crisscross. So I want you to lift your head and shoulders up off the floor and notice how already your core is very much engaged. Point your toe, knees are straight. Marnie's gonna stay here at the top with the crisscross and that's the modification. So here we go, right over left, it's right, left. Beautiful, really reach, keep the shoulder blades off the ground. One more set, it's eight, seven, six, five. Beautiful, now drop it down 10 degrees if you want to. Eight, seven, six. Beautiful. And drop those legs one more time. Good. Now we're gonna stay here for 16 more counts. You can do it, come on. Here's 16, 15, cross, cross, stretch, press. If you're getting tired, bring your legs up with Marty. You got it, just four more. Good, release, and drop it down, beautiful. Wiggle those toes, shake your head side to side, cross those ankles, and just roll yourself up to stand. Beautiful job. Bring your legs center and tall spine. Take a nice inhale up and bring your arms halfway. Now your neck is long, your back is tall. Let's begin with a nice, easy ballet-like movement with that right arm. Reach it all the way up, brush the ceiling. So we reach, open it around, round forward, and do it again. So your spine is moving very subtly, very soft, but majorly under control. Again, reach it up and open, round forward and out. Last time, reach up and open. Good, now bring your arms behind you. Interlace your fingers, lift your arms up and off your body and just drop your right ear to your right shoulder. Stretching the side of your neck. Beautiful, getting rid of any tension. Let's go to the other side. So drop it over to the left. Good, breathing calmly. And come right back to the center. Take a nice big inhale in. Hold it halfway. Let's bring that left arm over. It's reach around, round forward. Do it again. Beautiful, so reinforcing great posture with these. Really round, come back up and reinforce beautiful posture. Good, shoulders over hips, 
ears over their shoulders, and a nice lifted rib cage. One more time. Good, take a nice power breath in. Exhale and release it all the way down. You did great. Keep breathing big, keep staying tall and lifted, and feel strong and pulled in in your core. You are now an official Crunch Superstar. Thanks for joining us, we'll see you next time.